would you define a Rube Goldberg invention? Well, uh, I've been called the father of automation. Uh, uh, it's one thing after another. I mean, that's really the thing. And uh, it's, a, it's, a logic, it's an illogical bunch of things which are put in a logical sequence. Rube Goldberg. 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 I made a Rube Goldberg machine. A Rube Goldberg machine. It's an intentionally delightful waste of time and energy. Here's a typical example of what I mean. failures and two successes that's that's my hypothesis the internet and youtube in particular has given a whole new life to rube goldberg watch close How does this work? It's just very simple. Oh, and there it goes. I suppose there are one or two among you who think that my uh, inventions are a bit ahead of their time. All right, go on and say it. Downright screwy. Doing something simple in a very complicated way that is not necessary. It's a goofy, gadgety, glorious stick to behold. This this goes up to a bit of a Rube Goldberg contraption. Sloppy staff work right from the beginning, especially on this bill. And this is the world's slowest Rube Goldberg. Oh, no kidding. I love it. You actually know what it is. I'm pretty surprised. Absolutely. departed from this earthly scene this machine of mine will be working on and on and on and on and on and on, and on. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Nasif Rube Goldberg Foundation Minecraft Challenge. My name is Mike Washburn, joined, as always, by Eric. I'm getting better at this, Steve and Jennifer. Um, really excited to have you all with us today. Um, and I wanted to give... We just watched that. I love watching that video. I, I'd watch that video anytime. Um uh, it's, it's, it's so cool. And every time I see something different in it, um, um, but I wanted to give Jennifer a minute. Jennifer is, you are Rube Goldberg's granddaughter. Is that right? Daughter. Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> how, uh, is, 
tell yeah. us a little bit about Rube Goldberg before we get started, because I think well, I think there's people that may not even know who he, he was. was. A real person. Well, he 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 was a real person. He was a cartoonist. <laughs> Um, he never actually built the machines that he's known for. Um, so he, he only drew them. Uh, but he was uh, trained as an engineer. He went to UCAL Berkeley uh, at the turn of the last century um, and was trained to be essentially a train, I think a train engineer, if I'm not mistaken. And he right. was an engineer for about six months, hated it, and uh, started cartooning for a local newspaper. So, Very cool. Well, going, I just want to say from all of us, happy birthday, Mike. Uh, well, thank you so happy much. Happy birthday, Mike. <laughs> happy birthday. And you know what? Happy birthday, Steve, because it uh, was a couple of days ago. Uh, Steve's birthday, birthday was yesterday. It was, was it yesterday. yesterday? It was yesterday. Oh, I, can't, oh I can't remember if it was Monday or yesterday. It's a double oh, whammy. It's a double whammy. It is. It thank is. you. It is. What a week. Very um, happy to celebrate in the same week as Mike Washburn, I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> whatever all right <laughs> um all right so we're here to talk about the rube goldberg um challenge in minecraft um and i wanted to turn it over to steve to tell us a little bit more about that specifically how um how people have been competing how they can still get involved in and what they need to do Sure thing. Um, so we do have a website that gives you everything you could possibly need to know about getting involved. Um, and it's really simple and we're trying to make it as easy as possible. Um, so basically, uh, you know, and this is really exciting. So, uh, you know, Jennifer approached us a while ago and had this vision of doing a digital um, Rube Goldberg competition to go along with their uh, physical Rube Goldberg competition, which still is, you know, very active and and um, comes up with amazing, amazing results. Um, so we started to work together and and created this series of mini challenges, which we're in the middle of right now, leading up to the um, the Grand Poobah of Minecraft challenges, which is going to be creating a full. Rube Goldberg machine in Minecraft based on a theme that we're going to announce, I think, in either December or early January. And teams will have, just like in the dig in the physical challenge, they'll have from January to April to work on that. So think of it like, uh, you know, like uh, the Rube Goldberg Minecraft version of a robotics type competition or whatnot. Um, and many people who have been with us so far have been learning about simple machines, which is what our goal is in this first um, half of the year, because Goldberg machines are in fact made up of of a number of simple machines uh, making a chain reaction, and with that we are um, building on those skills. So some of the people who have been competing have even been adding onto their existing builds, which has been fun to watch. But basically, this website, which somebody hopefully will drop in the chat, or or I will. Um, no, I don't know if I really can. Yeah, I can. Okay, so. Um, there's a, an area to register your team, and there's a team guide. The team guide has everything you could need to know and probably more. Um, registering your team is simple. If you click on that link, it brings you here. Um, basically, teams can be made up of school groups, um, families. We have a family division. Uh, we really have three divisions. We have a family division, which encompasses essentially any age and definitely encourage parents and children and siblings to work together. We also have um, a like a junior division that goes from eight to thirteen, and then the senior division, which goes from thirteen to eighteen. Um, and to log in or to register, basically, you would uh, create a simple account as the adult. So every team with with um, youth, you know, every team has to have an adult uh, sponsor, let's say, or advisor, and that could be a parent. It could be. Um, an adult community member, and it could be a um, teacher or such. So in my case, I teach at a middle school and I have about, and a high school, and I have about 15 or so teams registered already. Um, so that's how you would get involved in, you know, to be just registered. And then as I've mentioned, all the information's here. Um, we have a number of awards and things that will be given out. The currently in the mini challenges, um, the awards are chosen randomly based on uh, on builds that at least meet the criteria. 
when we get to the big challenge that will have some serious judging involved um and that will be based completely on on merit of the rube goldberg machine created um right now we're in the preseason we've already gone through and you could always see the the past videos to um to see what we've done already but we've done the inclined plane the pulley the screw and the wedge we're going to showcase some of the wedges today and today we're launching the wheel and axle so we're going to cover that information today and talk about what some ideas about building that might be and then set you on your way to submit that within the next wow we actually is that right so we're giving a little extra time because of i guess the holiday or what have you that these are due actually on the 27th so that gives people a little more time than um a number of the ones we've done so far have so that's good news um and there we have it so that's most of what you need to be aware of um we are always available if you have questions there's definitely ways to reach us and the you know, and the NACEF folks um, are very responsive. And one final thing to note is when you do register, if, you, um, if you're in need of Minecraft Education Edition accounts, um, we can supply those. So that's part of the registration process. And on another note, you can, for this, use um, any version of Minecraft that you would like. Um, and basically, you're going to be submitting your videos via Flipgrid. Um, I think later, Eric will take us on a quick tour again of Flipgrid, just so you're sure you know how to submit those. So there you have it, folks. Nice. And, and so last week, we did uh, wedges. Uh, and we, we, we played some Minecraft. We talked about wedges. And we asked for submissions. How many submissions for wedges did we get, Steve? I think we had a little over 80 for the wedges, right? Um, and generally speaking, for each, uh, gosh, so we've had, you know, we've reached over 100, I think, for the screw and then 80 plus for the wedge. And amazing. Yeah, I'm expecting a lot for the wheel and axle. I think that, um, I think people are going to be sp spinning in their heads with great ideas for the wheel and axle. So we'll see. I let's, see what let's, you did there. Let's. Ah, I didn't even mean to. No pun intended. I hope <laughs> we hit. Let's hit. Let's hit one fifty for the wheel and axle. How about that? They do have Sounds an extra great. week. Right? They do have so, an extra yeah. week. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So we have um, four of the submissions from wedges that uh that that we've i now i'm not sure if these are necessarily winners these are just mm -hmm. i think one eric i think you're the one who picks these so i so did tell us, so we tell wanted, us, we tell, wanted us to, the, tell us why we've picked these ones we wanted to showcase some of the variety right uh, of ways that we've seen students looking at the challenge right and it's not to say that these are absolutely the best ones that we received but they were good examples of that variety uh so in this first one for example uh, if you remember what we did last week with animating the armor stands, they did that, but they took it to a like a whole other level that I want to like reach out to these students and be like, okay, walk me through this. Nice. Because they animate it in such a way, if you watch the video, uh, where it looks believable, right? Whereas mine were sort of dancing because uh -huh. I went the quick, easy path, but they got deep. So, right. so let's let's play that one and have a look. Hey guys, it's Hunter and Seth from Small High School, and today we're presenting wedges. So we're starting off with Lumberjack here, classic wedge, and he's going to use it to <laughs> cut down the tree. Look how productive he's been. Right, I mean, next level. Next level. Wow. Mill here. More instances of cutting with wedges. Here we see a saw. Ha! This is fantastic. We have big log here. This one blew my mind. Cut log. Saw is going really hard here. Wow. I don't understand how that works. Uh, yeah, I, I, I like I said, I, I want to reach out and be like, all right, e explain it to me. <laughs> explain it to me. Well, they're, they're in the chat. Are they? Yeah, they just noticed that this was their uh, submission. That was for the oaks. So, oh, yeah, I, I know just, you... okay, okay, okay. Okay. What you I got? See. It's funny, like got? on cue, he shows you what he, how he did it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here we have particle effects and all that. Awesome. All the particles coming out of here. 
Ah, uh, that's smart. I love the sound. So is that the lava particle effect that makes it look like like the sparks flying? Is that what I'm looking at there? It's the block, and we also use fantastic animating. The By the way, that uh, that that spinning blade, you know, I mean, you you've got your your wheel and axle kind of done for you as well, none. right? So you, you put the blades, which are your wedge, and the wheel and axle together already. Yeah, I have a feeling they'll add other cool stuff. So there's a chance Absolutely. that it will get showcased again because this is great. pretty it's pretty well done yes very well done that is pretty what is that's H very cool C? is that their team name oh thank you team unicorn thank you amanda i hope you, did mine stay in there there was not there was one that i put in that i wanted to to show i hope that's still in there it's really cool it's still know. in there it's All definitely right, still in there i know Illini, exactly which one you this want is Illini blocks high school so this one I put in because it's so simple, but I could not stop laughing at it. Ah, so let's see. You need the audio. You need the audio. <laughs> Hello, I am the chef. And as you can see here, I am cutting the meat with my knife. <laughs> ah, look at the chef. It's very cool. <laughs> and I am a chef. Thank you for watching. You are a chef. That is awesome. Right? So simple, but I could not stop laughing. And, and it's a wedge, right? 100% it gets the message across. I am the chef. You see here, I am cutting the meat with my knife. <laughs> yeah, let's just keep delicious. watching it. You see? Yeah, yeah, just on loop. Very cool. And I am a chef. <laughs> yeah, and I am a chef at and the end. I am a chef. Well, I'll tell you, you know, the humor in these, when you when they right. are funny, oh, that yeah. speaks very much to Rube. So I hope yeah. we, I hope we Steve, I think. Well, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I just I'm, I hope when we get into the competition phase next semester that uh, people, you know, they hone in on their funny chops. <laughs> yeah, I do too. All right. Absolutely. Uh, the, the bar has just been raised. It yes. is. Hu humor is required. <laughs> Bonus points for humor. <laughs> Make us laugh. Steve, I think this is the one you is wanted. Is this it? I hope so. Yeah, I think so. Oh, it is. Oh, how I love this. Even the joystick and the buttons at the bottom. Yeah. Right? The attention to detail. Love it. Oh, it's funny, too, because the first time I saw it, I don't even think I saw the Donkey Kong part. I just saw the Mario, mm -hmm. you know, like, oh, my gosh, it's so good. And the music. Do I have to get nerdy and be like, he wasn't called Mario yet in, in Donkey Kong? <laughs> he, was, he, was he just the plumber? Or what was he? Um, Jump Man. Jump, Jump Man. Man. That's right. Yeah. Jump Man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He'll always be Mario, but yeah. That's right. Whoa, and he makes it over the barrel. Also, I feel like we need to talk to a lot of the team's production values, right? They put my editing and stuff, like, which is not great anyway, but to complete shame. Uh, and we'll talk about that a little bit more, I think, when we watch another video soon. This part's cool. And they even have a cat in their video. Do they? Or is, or no, is no, that? I'm in, just kidding. I'm just is kidding. Is that Jen's house? Oh, is it Jen's? I thought it was my yours. Cat on my lap. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Oh, let's see this. Cut through. There it goes. All right, so actually, actually cutting, right? Not even. So cool. Wow, very cool. Yeah, I love that one. But just the theming in this one is great, too. And again, I, I mean, depending on how many steps there are in this one, which I don't know how many we saw. I mean, you're well on your way to the full Rube yeah. Goldberg competition, even in this, think. right? Mm-hmm. Totally. That's great. Nice. That was excellent. Oh, very cool. Very cool. And the last one. Yep. And uh, this, like that first team, they looked at like dozens of ways to use the armor stands and animate them differently. So I thought this was very cool. 
Today we're recording the Mesa Food Goldberg Wedge Simple Machine Challenge. And to show this, we like to use armor stands and axes to show off the wedge. Oh, for, axe for the to show the wedge. An axe is a wedge because of the sharp edges, but you can't really notice it here in Minecraft. But this is our actual project right here. Use a known locating command on the armor stand, <laughs> or some people know. Yeah, much better than my dancing one. <laughs> a little bit and change it so that it doesn't rotate the 90 degrees. Now I need to learn more about the 360 degrees. The armor stand animation. There's a lot that can be done with armor stands, and I feel like I've never even scratched the surface of it. Or, or maybe all I've done is scratched the surface, I guess. Right. <laughs> Side note, did anyone else notice the Among Us character at the beginning? No. The background? Oh, that's awesome. I did <laughs> we not. We have to jump back to the beginning when we're done watching it. Okay. Right. Somebody was being oh, sus in the background yeah. there. It's very funny. We ended another method, which uses multiple poses. But for this one, seeing as it changes poses, we actually had to use two armor stands. So you can see it in the name difference right here. But it looks better, better in my opinion, because it actually looks like it's chopping the wood. <laughs> yeah, this is the only one I saw that animated it with that like up and down chopping instead of the side to side chopping. Oh, wow. Yeah. This Jeez. One over here, it's also using the two piece. This guy has some flair right here, right? He's kind of <laughs> putting, putting his whole body into it. <laughs> it really does look like he's. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. The tree with the more movement to it, and in my opinion, this one is better than the original. So, and then this one, which is my favorite one. of the chest. <laughs> I love that, right? Loading oh, it up wow. with the conveyor belt. The new version. Huh. Oh, that's cool. So the one is cutting the wood and then he's loading it onto carts. Oh, that's so, awesome. Yeah, I love that. That would make for a perfect okay. uh, part of a machine, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, these are, I'll tell you, as we go week by week, like you pointed out, Eric, we're getting to this point where we can see how people are going to really pull it together, bring it all together for the big competition. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And again, like, you know, one of the things I, I love about Minecraft and using Minecraft is that every time we think we've got something figured out, somebody else shows us a totally to do it. And it seems endless. Yeah. It's two command blocks on each side. So that is awesome. Command blocks in total. And this one places while this one deletes, or not deletes because it's teleportation, but. <laughs> One places it over here while removing the second one and placing it back here. And it loops and keeps doing that back and forth. So it's just so it's creating like, the animation with one and then cloning it with the other up to wow. the... I can't really yeah. detail because not much time, but yeah. To this <laughs> love it. That's so awesome. Right? He's I even getting it. his leg up in the air. He's getting a little, like, it looks Probably like he's... Just as quickly, so I really do love that one that is uh that is loading the boxes onto the mine carts. Sorry. Like that's just uh -huh. so, so simple, but to such good effect. Not as messy as before. Not as clean, but it's not as messy. Wow. As but no, this makes carts. you think too of just <laughs> the things they can do with you know multiple carts and mm -hmm. and detector um detector rails as we get into the big competition. It's going to get interesting. Totally. Uh, absolutely. That's awesome. Very cool. Mm -hmm. So this week uh, is wheels and axles. And as always, um, Professor Eric. Professor is, Eric. Is going to teach us. For the us. record. Not a professor. <laughs> no, that is an honorary <laughs> title that was provided to me by like, eight-year-olds, and it stuck. You got so, it. It's like that uh, TV network closing where i don't know which network it is where everybody says the guy says not a doctor that's right, <laughs> right. My, uh, my students tried to come up with something sort of like um bill nye the science guy where it rhymed and then they just gave up they were like nothing rhymes with your name we're just kidding <laughs> all right so eric's gonna talk to us about wheels and axles absolutely all right so let's take a look at the slide deck for today so we are doing wheels and axles um 
and we'll go through and talk about what those are. Uh, so a wheel and axle can be used to help move objects more easily. Obviously, uh, you know, we use tons of things with wheels nowadays. And of course, the goal is to make them move more easily. And so until we get hover cars, this has been uh, the best solution. Still waiting on the hover car, though, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there is a video in here. And of course, we will link this uh, into our uh, materials like we do always. We're not going to spend too much time watching this one right now. Uh, but it is a simple machine that uses a change in circular motion into forward motion. Uh, a wheel reduces the friction between an object and a surface, making it much easier to move. So one way we can think about that going real quick back to that photo is if we look at the surface area at the bottom of the wheel that is touching the ground, it's a very minimal amount of surface area, which means friction is reduced. So the amount of contact the wheel has with the ground uh, is less than it would be if we spread that same surface area out. Right, and here we see that again. Uh, by spinning on the axle, of course, we're transferring uh, the force forward over a large distance. Uh, that circumference uh, of the wheel, which we're spreading out, uh, is being is the distance traveled for every rotation. But if we look at the axle, uh, the distance traveled is much less. So we're going a greater distance, uh, but we're also reducing friction. In this case, right, the axle is firmly attached to the wheel. We'll talk about the distinction in those in a little bit. Uh, but as force is applied to spin the axle, it is transferred to the wheel. Uh, and of course, the wheel reduces friction with the ground. So by using the axle and the wheel together, uh, we're, we're improving both of those situations. We're minimizing the amount of effort and we're minimizing the amount of friction. So this should be the easy question. This is probably the easiest one, I think, of all the ones that we ask, because I know we ask with this slide every week. So throw them in the chat. What are some examples of wheel and axle you might see in your daily lives? And see if you can come up with one that maybe we didn't go, oh yeah, you know, we would go, oh yeah, I didn't think of that one, right? Because, you know, like a car one is kind of obvious, but uh, what are some ones that are not so obvious? Let's see what we get. Ah, oh, see the car came right away. It's the, it's the one we go to, and I went to it too, I'll admit. Pizza cutter, yes. Oh, pizza cutter. Uh, a laptop hinge, laptop. yeah. That, that's, you know what, I wouldn't have thought of that one at all, but yeah, hinges are, are definitely an example of that axle in use. The mouse how about any scroll sort of wheel. Like, how about any sort of like dial on like a, like a volume dial or anything like that? That's yeah, if it's really a physical right. dial, yeah. Yeah, all good examples, a cog. <clears throat> so here are some of those examples. And we do see like the wheel and axle will be used as a car. The Ferris wheel is a good example. And by the way, when I was looking up wheels in Minecraft, boy, does the Ferris wheel seem to be a popular build. Ooh. Uh, a doorknob though, even is an example of a wheel and axle, uh, as well as that wagon. Although I'll be honest, I feel like the first picture and that wagon picture are just the same thing. <laughs> so I cheated a little bit. But there's lots of examples. And feel free to keep throwing them in the chat as we go. Mm. Right? So wheel and axle are used uh, when objects have to be moved over long distances. So a uh, wheel and axle, of course, greatly reduces the friction. So if we look at the bottom of that box, that entire surface area right, is being dragged or pushed, in this case, along. Ooh, analog clock is a good one. Uh, along the surface of the ground, that is a great deal of friction between those two objects. But if we were to round the bottom or put, let's say, a set of wheels on there, uh, you would have two points where it's making contact with the ground, uh, significantly less friction, right? Which we see, of course, in this dolly image down here. Uh, instead of a whole object being slowed wow. down by friction, only the wheels have contact with the ground. Much easier. Oh yeah, Amanda's getting gold stars for that one. <laughs> So uh, this goes back to that point real quick, though. There are types of wheel and axle. We have the fixed axle, and this is when the uh, axle is firmly in place attached to the wheel. Um, one example of that might be like the rotor on a helicopter. And then, of course, you have ones where it is not fixed. And, in, and to be honest, in most of the cases in our cars, uh, two of those wheels may be fixed, right? And those are your drive wheels. But then the others may not be fixed, right? And those are the ones. Uh, that are just sort of rolling, unless of course you've got like four, four wheel drive. Uh, and of course the wheel and axle itself is actually found in pulleys. So whenever we have the conversation about simple machines, the question is how simple do we get before we stop calling them, <laughs> right? Because even some of the simple machines, um, the, the pulley or even a, a pair of scissors, for example, right? is two wedges connected with an axle. 
uh, working in the way a wheel and axle does is how simple is simple, right? So there's always some debate, right? Is an incline plane also a wedge? Do we put those together? Um, but those are, those are good discussions to have as we make comparisons, right? So here's some examples of fixed and not fixed. I don't know why that D dropped down. <laughs> so this brings us to our always and forever question <laughs> of how can we build it in Minecraft? Again, when wheels in Minecraft don't exist, right? We have mine carts and things like that, but even the mine carts don't have visible wheels on them. <laughs> um, and Steve and I actually had a discussion this morning and you know we've made a point of showcasing mm. what the students who are participating in all of our challenges are doing. Uh, and some of those students have taken it uh, to heart and they, they want to be part of a community that teaches, that learns. Uh, and we have one or two students who've been participating that have started sharing what they can do in Minecraft via YouTube channels and very simple instructional videos. And to be honest, simpler and better edited than I could ever do. So why not showcase what one of those students did uh, to show how a wheel or at least some rotating mechanism can be made uh, in Minecraft. So uh, Mike, I don't know if we can pull that one up. Got it. I'm on it. And I have a feeling this person is in the chat with us right now. So we'll, we'll push. Maybe it, it's very late there in India. But if, if you could also, Eric, drop the, um, the YouTube channel link in. Um, Absolutely. So I'll drop the link to this video. And then, of course, you can find Minecraft Miniature is the name of the channel. But did such a phenomenal, oops, such a phenomenal job. Put that one in the wrong one. All right. Uh, one of their teammates is in the chat. Right, so they're using a command block and we haven't talked or used command blocks in any of our builds just yet. So Steve, I know this is one of your favorite things to go over. So I might mm -hmm. let you start off with the command block and how to get them and what they can do. Well, yeah, we'll do that when we you mean, when we get into our build for sure. I, I might need to have this video in the background because we're going to try to see if we could recreate it, right? So I spent some time looking at this video and teaching myself how to do it based completely on this video. So 100% this student is now my teacher. Uh, but I wanted to see if I could modify it to, to make it a little bit more like spokes on a wheel and add an axle, right? Since we're, we're, since we're including axles in mm. this conversation, I asked myself, how can we throw an axle in here? And it wasn't that hard to modify. Ooh, good. That's what we need. So very cool. Oh, that's great. Wow. <laughs> Wild. Yeah, this group, we have a group of, of kids from India that I, I'm just so excited about because they've all been so active in everything we've been doing. And big shout out to, I think there are probably three distinct teams that I could think of, um, you know, that are doing just amazing things. So glad to have you along for sure. Let's yeah, play so some that one just let's got play featured some... on a stream, right? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's play. What were you saying? Minecraft? Is that what you want to play today? I heard, I heard there's this game. It's called Minecraft. It's up heard and it's, coming. I heard it's rad. Up and coming. Hey, I saw this. I, I It's funny where I logged in. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. Did I did I not share that? No. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Take a look around, Steve. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's so nice. <laughs> I had oh, to. I had Eric, to. Eric, thank you. I'm just going to keep it there the whole time. Just keep showing my go. screen and we'll just have that up. That's nice. That's funny. All right. Now, where are we going to put it? We could put it right here, but um, where you was, are, Eric, we have a little. Spot yeah, that's what right. I thought. If we put it right here as these tracks go around, it may look like it's kind of pushing the flow of the carts around oh, the track. Oh, so in the middle, in that, in that blank spot that you have there? Yeah. All right. Be a good spot. Let's do it. All right, I'm going to try, gosh. So yeah, so I'm going to I'm going to try to really recreate it. So one of the things I do, now this is perfect Eric that you brought up the idea of modifying it. So I'm mm -hmm. going to play teacher for a minute here. And one of the things I do often with my students is I'll have them follow a tutorial. In fact, if any of my students are watching right now, this is perfect for our 
um, intro to Redstonia quest. So I'll have kids follow a tutorial and then modify it to be original. So it's like they're learning from the person whose tutorial it is, but then they're going beyond it um, afterwards. So I'm going to play the role of a student now, which I love. And I'm going to just sit here and do what I need to do, and we'll see how it turns out. Oh, and you know what's weird? Oh, I might need to be opt. Oh, no, I don't. I lied. Are you not yeah. right now? No, I'm good. I'm good. I just need to spell things correctly. Yeah, I'm good at that, too. So let's see. Where's my... Da, da, da. There we go. We got a command block. So real quick, uh, for those who don't know, how do you get a command block into your inventory? Okay, so are we... Let's see. So if I do slash give... Now, that's interesting about command blocks, too. Command blocks are not in the inventory. I always like to think of them as being sort of super secret, and you have to know enough to get them. So you have to give them to yourself with a command. So give at S stands for yourself, and then if you then command block. Okay, there are different types of command blocks. I can give myself any of the different types, and then still change them to the other types, like repeating or chain command blocks. So now I have my command block here. And I'm guessing, was it going to go right here, Eric? Was that the That's idea? That's what I figured. Yeah, let's. OK. Now I got to, I'm watching along with the video as well. So let's see what cool stuff happens here. TP at E. That's Yeah, the space entity. thing was a little tricky for me at first. So I really carefully watched uh, how it was. But is it so th <laughs> typing this in. code is going, hey, this is going to take me a little bit here. Well, I'll tell you what, I have it saved to my clipboard <laughs> oh so do you want to just paste it so in there? i can copy paste it real quick so are uh, we seeing what screens are we all here looking at um all right okay. so i'm going to come over to your block and i am going to paste the command in now one of the things i started to alter as i looked through it was first of all i do know that it needs to be on repeat and we're going to keep it on need redstone for now uh, and again i've walked myself through that tutorial so many times <laughs> Uh, because we don't want it to activate until we have everything in place. Now, to make it that cool angled wheel that he had in the video, the last number in that command was 40, right? It was an angle. Uh, I've changed that to zero. And uh, you'll see why in just a little bit. So make the trident st stand straight up. Exactly. Well, to straight out, right, right. To mm. basically lay flat instead of being on an angle. Nice. But yeah, we're going to change their angle. So I, that was that. the first thing. I played with numbers until I was like, oh, it's just zero. And Wait, so the, so let me just see if I understand this for a second. So the, mm -hmm. so the, it's at E is all entities. So type equals right. thrown trident. Okay. So, oh, it's, it, it's basically going to bring all throw, thrown tridents. It's going to put at right. two, two, two blocks above mm -hmm. and 10. And then the, so the, Interesting. Then the 10 and the zero, what are those again? I'll, I'll be honest. This was the angle. And I think the 10 is, may have something to do with the speed, but I'm not 100% wow. sure on that or okay. the positioning. Awesome. So though, these, are, I think, are the X and Y positions of the, the item itself. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I actually started to play with this with other items like arrows and uh, things like that. And it totally works, except arrows do kind of de-res after a little bit. Okay. All right. So we've got the code. But I wanted an axle. So here was my solution to the axle. Uh, and you do need to shift to place this. So I grabbed some end rod. And in the middle of it, uh, let's see if I can get one up here. There we go. I built an axle, like literally right on the command block. Nice. Gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah. The other thing I learned was if you're too close when you activate it, you end up picking up all the tridents <laughs> and you have to start over. Oh, funny. So if you if you make it three high, which is what I've done, and you stand on it, you actually get a perfect position to kind of throw these around, which is what exactly the same thing that was shown to us in that Minecraft miniature video. And you do want to space these evenly. And what I realized is I tried one time to make it as many as possible to see if it would fill out. But if you get too many on the screen, the old ones start to vanish. And they don't have to be in the perfect spot, I learned also. Well, plus the it's going to teleport them and pull them all where it needs to. It I is. Think, as part of the command. Yes. All right, so we've got them all where we want them. Uh, so now from this position, I'm going to right-click on that command block and just switch it from need redstone to always active. 
Uh, make sure you're not standing too close or you will pick them up instead of them spinning around. <laughs> that one took me a few tries before I figured that out. Uh, so let's go to Always Active. And there we go. Oh, there you go. That's so awesome. Of course, you see the endless chain of commands rotating on my screen. So I tend to hit F1 to, to hide the HUD and get rid of it. Well, those. you could change that anyway. The, you you mean, can, yeah. Yeah. But it's just easy for me to do. But now it's on an axle. That is awesome. So, wow. I mean, look, without that tutorial, I never would have even gotten close to knowing how to do this. But with that right. tutorial, I said, can I modify it, add an axle, and make it more like a flat wheel? And the answer was yes. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that amazing tutorial. Uh, hopefully they'll watch this video if they're your partner. If they're not watching it today, uh, <laughs> they'll watch it soon. Uh, I'll uh, tell you, you know what will be interesting is when Minecraft Education Edition finally updates to uh, the Nether update content, um, one of the cool things that was added in that was Chain. Um, and Chain is a, an item that can be also placed... Um, um horizontally so you could do this and and things and things run the uh, in in the other in on the other axis right and um, i was wondering what you would have to change in your numbers to make that happen right if i put that command block yeah in a wall right and though then built I, the though end rod I think en though i think end rods can run can run horizontally as well what would be interesting is is putting another um, another an end rod coming out of that top end rod, and then making it so that you had another set of tridents spinning vertically, um, oh. and then you would have and then you would have essentially a gear. Hmm. That's that would be pretty cool. I wonder if anyone uh, watching this is going to experiment enough to make it happen. I mean, I'll probably play between now and then, but I don't want to showcase my stuff. I want to showcase their stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but this that, is yeah, that looks really cool. Yeah, I love it. I, I absolutely love it. Um, and, and again, we'll have to play with seeing if we can change the orientation. Uh, obviously, based on what we saw in that first video that we shared, and Mike, we saw Chain in that one, so we're assuming they're using you know the Nether updated one when they made that kind of saw blade, uh, but they weren't using uh, tridents. They were using, I think, axes that were connected yeah, the same you way. Could do, you could do this with anything that's like a, like a shovel or a sword or a... How would you place uh, them though to get them to pull in? Do you just cue oh, and throw I them guess, down, or you can't, put, you can't put them down on the ground? Mm. There are ways to sort of clone them out. I've seen people do it with sort of, uh, but it's with, uh, and maybe this is what they did. It's with invisible uh, armor stands. So maybe there were invisible armor stands holding those axes that were pulled Super in. Super interesting. Yeah. And you know, so Namia. Um, She's on the team. Um, I think it's Cool Cat NJ, and if I remember too, if, if you remember, their team did windmills, which also give a good, um, mm -hmm. you know, example of a wheel and axle. So a lot of neat stuff coming up here. Um, and I am wondering. Oh, here's here it is. Working windmill in. I'm going to just share this in the chat also. Sure. Um, you know what's so cool about this? The way that the tridents actually animate. Is that it, it? It it looks like it has like a bushing on it as well, like a uh, the inner, like the the inside part would be right. There's like a what hub, you a, yeah. What you would call a bushing. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. That is so cool. So yeah. it it looks super mechanical, and so I I could just imagine so many. That's just one example, but oh, you just you just picked up all. The <laughs> I was wondering about. Oh, that. funny the wheel oh, the wheel yeah. and axle. I mean the the potential for what people are going to come up with you know uh, like i could see a water wheel i could see a windmill i can see yeah i could see people getting really creative with animation and creating like a moving wagon where the wheel appears to be you know moving as part of the animation um would be super cool yeah i can't wait to see what we get this time and remember we're, we're i feel like we're giving you a gift you have an extra week you can spend so much time working on this don't worry at all about your schoolwork. Just work on this for <laughs> yeah for a week and a half, I mean, two if and a half weeks. Teacher, super cool. Then this is your schoolwork. This is my class's schoolwork. It exactly. school is overrated. I guess you're super cool. I'm super cool. I've 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 evolved to super cool. So that is awesome. Now we also do have um, the wonderful uh, opportunity to share some of our 
winners of, of headsets as well, don't we? We do. Um, I think there was one more Flipgrid video we wanted to share because oh, ahead, one, of, one of our submissions kind of showcased, like like you said, like there are some where we're seeing them build it together. And one of them definitely got started on what was a Rube Goldberg machine that we saw earlier. And there was this one cool effect in there. And I was like, we should share this one because it's got at least three or four steps of their Rube Goldberg machine already in place. Oh, neat. Yeah, let's do it. But I oh love my that. god, those look so cool. Yeah, I had to look at it for like a few times to see how it was done. And then once I realized how it was done, I was like, it wasn't even that hard. It's just unbelievably clever. Neat. Wow. But I love that that wave effect of the minecarts. Thought that was so cool. It'd be interesting if you uh, if you um, used note blocks underneath the ground, activated by another part of it to create Biden music. Then it would then it would look like a wave. It would almost look like a wave form related to the music that's being played. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't catch that audio part at the end. The first. Time. <laughs> what was it? I missed it. Uh, he, he was, he was making a, a political statement. <laughs> Biden 2020. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Oh, man. Apparently that's the new Baba Booey, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Oh, that's funny. Wow. So oh, awesome. Cool. Well, we have some winners to announce, and we should probably get to that before we say goodbye. So, uh, so who uh, who won the wedge competition? I don't know. I don't know who's telling us that, but uh, uh, you know, now I got to find the. Uh, you know what? Somebody... I have I have the team names up. So let's okay. go with the team names. Yeah, go with that. Yep. I don't know if I have their location. I do know the location of some of them, but I may have it order, out of order. So I'm not going to mess that up. So let's mm -hmm. go with the team names. And uh, the first team name is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. And that's why I love it. So congratulations to the Butter Toe Nerds. Ooh, nice. So Butter Toe Nerds, congratulations. You've any, won any, a class set of headsets. Any Butter Toe Nerds watching us? Aside from me, I, I probably would qualify as a Butter Toe Nerd. But um, are you any other? Butter toe often nerds. buttering your toes when I, you know the, the anything nerd like i would i would you know embrace that works well we're very very down with nerds um ah, that, that's right there, there you go the task there it is <laughs> <laughs> all right so the next one uh continuing with some mildly ridiculous names but less so uh is the archie alpha blockmasters so congrats to the archie alpha blockmasters and yes that was the whole name so RT Alpha Blockmasters, congratulations. You've won a set of headsets for your team. Set. Uh, the next one, a very, very creative name, Some People. So mm. congratulations, Some People. You've won a, a headset, a headset set. Wow, it's weird when you put in that order. A set of headsets. Perfect. Um, next up is The Shoeless Ones. So congratulations to The Shoeless Ones. Uh, we don't know how true that long, is. But, most know. of us have been the shoeless ones. I was going to say, working remotely, we're all shoeless ones lately. Uh, oh. And finally, uh, the Block Bashers. So congrats mm. to the Block Bashers. They're great names. Right? Very, very good names. Awesome. So keep in mind, again, there is one more chance with the wheel and axle competition to win those headsets for your club, your class, uh, whatever it is you're doing this as a group. Uh, so congrats to those five teams and uh, good luck to those who are doing that last submission. But of course, no, then... we have another one after that, don't we? Uh, I just read. So I got butter toe nerds. That's one. No, no, I'll I don't mean that. I'm sorry. Don't oh. we have, you oh. said the wheel and axle is the wheel and axle the last one or do we have one more? Oh, no, that? you're right. We have two more. We have the wheel and axle and then we have one more to share. You're right. We still got to do the um, lever. Mm -hmm. You're right. Never mind. I didn't mean, mean to make everyone panic. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. 
All right. Well, we're going to take you out. Um, th thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, amazing work on all of these uh um still oh every week there's been something that uh that even um you know a bunch of us didn't know how it was even done um you know and we're supposed to be experts so <laughs> who who would have thought uh it, it's really quite awesome uh and keep the videos coming keep the work going uh it's it's really really neat um we're gonna take you out with um we're gonna watch the okay go video the whole one with the the whole Rube Goldberg um, machine in it. Um, it's really great. So we will see you all next in two weeks. We I, I want to add that it took them 87 oh. tries. It took 87 Eight. tries to get this uh, to work. Oh, I didn't know that. And um, if you actually look at this and look at the backgrounds, you can see busted televisions, busted <laughs> And see where that what they got up to, but they didn't complete it. The run, so all the it's cool to watch the background. Keep your eye on. Amazing, cool. cool, cool. That's awesome. All right, enjoy everybody. We'll see you in two weeks. Happy Thanks, birthday! Mm -hmm. Yeah, happy birthday, guys. Thank, Thank you.